Hello everyone, this is Khaled and welcome to another Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S video. In today's video, we have a very big uh, update uh, for the current exploit that have been released uh, earlier this week. And um, I have done a video about this current exploit and one of the requirements was to have advanced file explorer application and some or like a lot of like uh, people didn't got the chance to get this uh, properly working uh, some people like didn't launch it or like the license have gone away but to whoever have the game uh, script application the good news is uh, today uh, Carol Cake uh, the author of the exploit uh, has uh, made a cooperation with um, uh, Lander branded and they ex uh, developed um, a way to transmit uh, the two main files or like the process of using the, the advanced file explorer using a network payload so if you got game script application and you don't have uh, the full trust uh, application of advanced file explorer or you don't it's messed up or like it doesn't launch or have like some license issue the good news is now there is no need uh, for that so uh, you can just uh, go through uh, the new update and that's what I, I'm gonna do today so so let's check what was the changes here because the last time I went through the readme uh, readme here but uh, like to make it better so we have here a new update like it was uh, like at two hours so we have it uh, 8 p.m. Uh, EDM uh, ADT time so let's go through the new commits here and you can see here in the readme file that uh, some of the mandatory stuff for the and the imported caveat section uh, for the advanced file explorer have been replaced now uh, with a way that you can alternatively initialize can be served by rubber ducky or uh, for the stage over the network so uh, as long as you have a network and you connect uh, to a network you can use a new way and um, like remove the dependency which uh, was here for the advanced file explorer for trust so let's go through the steps uh, involving that and the usage here we can see that there is a new file called game script underscore auto save underscore network .txt. so this file now uh, is the new one which is will be serving uh, both files through the network and replacing the requirement of advanced file explorer and what we need to do is we need to open this file and change uh, the local IP address to our IP address or PC so what we need is just like to grab the new file which will be available on the github I will leave the link in the description and uh, once you open it uh, you will have a section uh, let me grab that here uh, the host IP which is your PC so you need to change that to your PC and this exit and this uh, this file now is doing the serving over the network the payload serving over the network so to serve this uh, the two files over the network there is an exe file which also available on the github repo uh, called payload underscore server underscore when uh, underscore x 64.exe you need to run it on command prompt with dash dash stage 2 to send the stage 2 to ben and dash dash run to send the run dot exe so what will happen is that when we launch this command and um, our and we when we execute uh, the game script application what will happen is we'll be serving these files uh, to the Xbox uh, itself so as we can see here this is a new file so what you need to do is just grab this text and put it on a text format file uh, put it in USB media stick and then you can open it uh, through Xbox itself so let's let's go to the Xbox and do this process what I done is like I changed my IP address I have a small uh, router uh, which is like an offline router I don't have any internet connectivity which I'm uh, like always uh, like always saying that please stay away from internet connectivity I have an offline LAN and I have here just my PC and my Xbox so I know uh, what is the IP of my PC and what is the IP of 
uh, the Xbox. So I can hear, as you can see here, this is just a, an offline network and I have these separate two IP addresses. So what I've done is I copied this IP address of my PC and pasted inside uh, the game script application. So you can come here, you can see here, this is the IP address of my uh, PC. So uh, let's will copy this file. I'll put it on my USB stick and then we will put it uh, in the Xbox and we open it uh, via via whatever you can just like type it use uh, a ducky that i mentioned you can use a pico ducky uh, way or you can uh, have if you if you're lucky and have uh, one application for the notepad d so you can open it with that so i downloaded this application and i suggested that in one of my videos so i'll be using this uh, application to open the uh, the file and do the copying so let's shift to xbox and go from there so now I'm here on my Xbox and let me connect my USB stick and also I have a con I connected a keyboard, an external keyboard so I can do the edit uh, in case of I need to type something. So as you can see here, I connected my USB stick and what I will do now is just I will back away here and I will go to my application which is Notepad T, not DT. I will launch this application. If you don't have Notepad T, you can use the same process of converting the uh, text on the file to a Pico, uh, like Pico script and then you can inject it using the way that I explained with the Pico Ducky. But if you have, if you're lucky and have this application, so what you need to do is just um, come to the menu up here. We will do open file, and that will open the explorer for opening the files. We'll navigate here to the flash uh, memory or the media media memory, and I have here this game game script auto save network. So what I'll do, I will open that here. So as you can see, this is the file that I have changed. This is my um, IP, uh, PC IP address and now uh, what we'll do is that we will do a select all so this is a select all do back button and then we'll do a copy so this is the copy command and then after copying that I need to go back and launch game script so in game script application I have uh, run before the exploit which is uh, checking if this uh, the kernel is exploitable or not and as you can see here uh, the, the code is still there so we have the code of the old one so to remove it what you need to do is just like come here highlight you can see the uh, blue borders highlighted the screen then you need to press uh, Y button it will bring up the keyboard then you need to press uh, the B button so to remove the keyboard and then what you need to do is uh, with, the, with the keyboard connected uh, select all by control A and then backspace and then do a control V because we already copied the um, the applica I mean the, the file I mean the contents of this file uh, in from the notepad T application okay so now we are ready uh, what we need to do is just um, yeah so let's go back to our here is mentioned that um, okay so we copy the uh, state tools onto the local state so this is by the uh, what I mean this is by the advanced file explorer now now we come here uh, we need to type this this command and then we need to execute this file so we need to serve uh, the stage to under run.exe via payload by sending this uh, command here so let's copy this command and I have these files already in one folder placed here and we will come back here we will open a new terminal you can open a new terminal by typing here and you can just like press or like type CMD so it will launch a command a new terminal here and we can 
uh, paste this uh, this this command here. Okay, so we have the payload.exe when stage dash dash stage two stage two bin dash dash run run. So we have we have we need we must have the stage two and the run dot uh, and the payload all in the same level or the same directory here. And this file just like for the uh, use on the uh, the Xbox itself, so it's, it doesn't matter. So now let's launch this command. It might prompt uh, this like defender thing, so we need to allow access. So it's mentioned here file uh, listener listening. So now I move to the PC back again and I put the Xbox uh, on the bottom corner here. As you can see that uh, I made the two windows ready. So we have uh, to have a two terminal windows ready with the commands uh, shown on the uh, readme. So we have the command here for uh, sending the payload files and the other one for uh, opening the port and listening on port 7070 for the incoming uh, like uh, connections coming to the uh, PC from whatever the device. So what we need to do is uh, just to need to execute both commands. So let's execute that command and then after we will execute this command. So we have a listening here and also we have the file server is listening. So make sure that you run these two commands, execute them and then you can shift to the Xbox. So on Xbox, uh, what I will do now is I will go to game script application and then from here I will uh, press the X button, go to Windows and then uh, by the RB and then I will go down to uh, show run window and then I will go down and I will make uh, I press this uh, I press A on the run code once and then what uh, what what will happen is that we need to wait uh, around like 10 to 30 seconds uh, to make the I mean to uh, the as the game script application will be executing the exploit and then we should have a connection uh, on the netcat uh, on the netcat window here so let's wait a bit and time might vary on the Xbox uh, device. I mean, device. I mean, some uh, as reported before that the Xbox Series S is taking uh, much more time. So I'm on here on Xbox One S, and as you can see here, we have on the first window we have a file listen listening, and we have the both files that sending stage two and sending run.exe waiting for connection. That that's finished. This part is finished, and we come here. We can see that. Uh, we have a connection listening on port 7070 and you can see this is the IP address of the uh, my PC and this is the IP address of the Xbox and this is the port on the Xbox that targeting now we have here the build number of the kernel and we can see here uh, this is the name of the uh, exploit here with the carrot cake and uh, the, the domain name and we can see here that uh, this is the Windows version we have a successful attempt here and then running the payload and we have here version 10.0.2539 8.4909 which is the uh, kernel version of the uh, June update I don't have the May update because I had to uh, like uh, do a reset and all that stuff so yeah so we have here this uh, this is the, the latest I mean the, the version that's run, running here and we have a prompt on on the S drive so let's do a dire here but uh, before doing dire I will let me hide my, the Xbox screen uh, let me do that here so we will hide the Xbox screen and we come here so let's do a dire here, directory find. So I can see here in the directory we have all the folders containing the, uh, mostly this is the uh, game, I mean the ROS, I mean we have here the access to this operating system. We can see here the Windows version, I mean Windows folder and other program data program files. And this is uh, like replicating the same behavior that uh, the author Emma has shown on the uh, previous, I mean, uh, tweet, uh, which, which when she was able to uh, write a file and then type inside and show what's what's inside so we have a read right here and if we move to the O drive which is the disk drive and we can do a dire here we can see here this is the licenses that we have here so this is mentioning here this is the volume O is the DVD ROM and this is the serial number of the uh, this this DVD ROM let's do a dire here and uh, we would already done dire so we can do a CD and then we'll go here to the licenses so and we can do a dire here so I'm running here again Warhammer Vermin Diet uh, 2. So I have here the XML license for that. So let's copy this and we'll make a type. And then I will paste this here and let's run it. So this is the XML containing the license, uh, signed license for the uh, Warhammer Vermin Diet. Uh, sorry for that. And uh, yeah, so we have now uh, an access uh, and can exploit access to the device uh, to the Xbox. This uh, I'm on Xbox One X and this is, can be uh, also on Xbox uh, Series S and Series X if you have the 
a game script application. Uh, there is no need for advanced file, file explorer for the full trust application now because we can, as you can see here, we can send the files through the payload on the network and you have a game script app with a proper kernel uh, with a proper kernel so if you don't have this application or you don't have the proper kernel it's too late now you cannot do anything because until i mean uh, it it got, it got patched uh, properly on the kernel uh, release of uh, of july uh, but anyway yeah so from there we can expect that uh, a lot of developers might be able to uh, run unsigned uwb apps uh, on the on the uh, xbox so this will allow uh, opening a lot of uh, opportunities like running external programs, running emulators uh, on the uh, retail mode. So you will have dev, dev mode on retail mode. And who knows what would be happening from there. So you, we can expect, as I mentioned on the, uh, the, the uh, dumbling uh, research that they uh, showed that we can also uh, have the probability, the ability to uh, back up the games uh, somehow using the LUA uh, LUA uh, game saves like that. That's why we are using uh, Warhammer 2 Ver Vermin Diet. So expecting uh, like to run uh, some sort of uh, injecting uh, uh, some sort of modified save or like using a lower like this game, and from there we can just like grab the game files to do the backups, uh, game backups, uh, which until now we there is no success. I mean we didn't we don't have this ability, but yeah people started to tweaking that stuff and we're expecting we will be expecting a lot of uh, things that uh, might be unveiled and un unveiled soon uh, yeah so that's it um, one more thing that i need to uh, share with you so if you have uh, any failure in terms of uh, running the, the netcat here this application sometimes when you run uh, this command it will show that you the, the, the command can bind on an, on an ip or something like that so you need to make sure that there is nothing is uh, bound to this port or running on that port and to uh, to know that you need to uh, run you need to run um, this command let me clear this screen you need to run this command on uh, administrator uh, privilege so you need to run the terminal tool uh, run as administrator and then type not uh, net state uh, dash a uh, space dash a space dash b and it this will should show you uh, all the connections and all the ports that have been occupied and the processes occupying this port so you need to make sure when you run it at the beginning that there is uh, the port 7070 is uh, is empty not uh, not not occupied by any program if it's occupied you need to kill the process or you need to restart your pc uh, one of them is like you need to make, make sure that uh, this port is not occupied as you might uh, see some issues happening here uh, so yeah that's it for me guys uh, thanks for sticking in um, please, if you uh, like my video, please, if you like the video, please uh, leave a like. Uh, and also, if you didn't subscribe, subscribe to the channel. That helps a lot. Share it with a friend. Um, and see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.